So we are once again going to be using my max damage riveter shotgun build here in Modern Warfare 3. A lot of you may have already seen this particular build, but it performed really well last time and I got a lot of positive feedback. So I wanted to show the new subscribers or maybe some people who didn't see my last riveter video. Like I said, performed pretty well. So there's not much more to talk about here. If you guys are already familiar with the class setup, feel free to skip ahead to the gameplay. It's a good one. But if you guys are unfamiliar, let's get into it. My first attachment here is going to be a magazine with a 30 round mag. You're gonna to wanna to maximize your ammo capacity because more than likely you're going to be running around on a small map and you're gonna be spraying this thing. It's an absolute damage monster, meaning if you're going to be spraying down a lane, you're gonna absolutely adore this thing. For the ammunition type, it's going to be the four tank gauge ball for hip fire accuracy, recoil control, and overall damage. It's going to decrease your pellets, but it's going to increase the damage at the end of the day, making it less shots to kill in a more viable long range option because of that. So technically it reduces your damage range, but the damage is increased. So in turn, it does kill quicker at range. So it's gonna increase by 37% to the headshot 36 and you can see it's all scattered there along with that the shotgun spread is reduced and that's due to the lack of pellets so now we're onto an underbarrel with the bruin bastion grip that's going to give you hip fire and tack stance spread along with aiming idle sway fire aiming stability and aim walking steadiness so in my opinion this weapon is best used in tack stance however you can also use it in aim down sight speed what this is going to do here is because i like to use it in tack stance it's going to give you a large increase at 43 percent to your tax stance spread. For the muzzle, we have the Bryson Choke that's going to further increase the hip fire and tax stance spread along with shotgun spread. So you can see an extra 40% additional to your shotgun spread there. And as I stated, I was using this in tax stance. Therefore, it's going to also help it an additional 33%. You gotta be accurate with it, but if you are accurate, it kills extremely fast. And the final attachment is a barrel with the SA Draven 20. That's going to give you bullet velocity and damage range, rather self-explanatory, gonna increase it there by 35%. Bullet velocity isn't all too big of a deal because you're gonna be close range, but that 35% brings it up to 3.1 meters. So as always, here's all of your attachments on the screen. If you guys wanted to pause to copy this one down, pretty good one if you guys were to ask me. I Like I said, I know a lot of you may be familiar with this one, but it got a lot of positive feedback, so there's no real reason for me to change anything. Here is also the rest of my loadout on the screen if you guys also wanted to copy this down. I'm not sure why the gun's not showing up on the screen there. A little odd. But we're gonna jump over to Shipment to feature this Riveter shotgun as always. I mean, Shipment is the shotgun map in my opinion, and I got an absolute banger for you guys. You guys are gonna wanna watch that through, and I know you're gonna enjoy it. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. Let's go. So I had mentioned I've been playing a lot of like Rebirth Island in a couple of my videos just in my free time for fun and i wanted to try this riveter and i don't understand this thing's actually pretty good in multiplayer but then you bring it over to warzone and it is completely buns i don't really understand why that is i can't really make sense of it because like you just saw this thing's kind of nuts good range I wish it made sense though. You would think because it's good in multiplayer, like theoretically it'd be decent enough. Oh, he finally got me. I was like one kill. I can't say I'm absolutely balling out right now. I already have 15 kills. This on board guy is trying his cheeks off and I'm going to give him my cheeks. What? Wait a minute. I should probably reconsider what I'm saying here. I think they're going to go here. No? Where did you come from? Dude, if I can just lock in the VTOL, I know it's it's GG. I know it's GG. I just gotta slow down, yeah, calm down. What the heck are we doing? We're a slug on the ground. Still 
They're probably gonna spawn in front of me there. Don't know who you think you're slide canceling on. It ain't me. Thirty-two. I literally have so many kills. I just can't string the kills together. Oh, this is the I think this Rolando guy's camping in there for yep he's the one with streaks he's camping he's camping we're going for him I'm just gonna play the objective I'm having trouble doing anything here Somebody jump on that for me, please. UAV. I'm playing so well, I just can't figure it out, dude. I just can't figure it out. I'm this could get sketchy. This Rolando guy just absolutely fries me, dude. I can't get away from him. That's 68. Think about that. No streak, 68. See what I mean, bro? I can't kill him. I can't kill him. This guy is obliterating me into the next dimension. Okay. I got time, man. This is such a promising game. Not this time, pal. Dude, almost again. Guy just doesn't miss. Holy crap, finally. Finally. Target area mark. Clear I'm running. I got a DNA bomb. Oh my God. After all that. After all of that.
Okay, another VTOL to call in. That's for you, Rolando. That one was for you. 110. I mean, seriously, consider if I get kills or if I get streaks, how many more kills I get? Hundred and fourteen right now. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming. Oh my God. Teammates are even out here saving me. Teammates were even out here saving me. And Rolando results to switching to a knife. 129 kills. That had some intensity.